A World Cup without Italy is like pizza without cheese, said one distraught, heartbroken Italy fan as their team fails to make the World Cup for the first time since, correct me if I'm wrong, but 1958. Jesus Christo. About 60 years, my math is correct, um, since the Italians uh, at last weren't able to grace the great tournament with their handsome bearded presence. Uh, it's disastrous for Italian football. Uh, I think Italian football, in terms of their national squad, have been on a steady decline uh, since their World Cup triumph, but that's just because I think they've went through some changes in manager. I know that specifically a lot of hate's getting toward, uh, directed towards the manager at the moment. But one thing that has to be said is that they haven't really replaced some of the more dominant uh, players in their team that have moved forward. I think uh, on the offensive aspect or the attacking aspect to save the rest of the comment section from going crazy about me saying offense. Give me a break. I'm in America, all right? It just it gets hard to kick it. But when you look at the past, I mean, from the Baggio days to Francesco Totti to Inzaghi, like they've got some talented players in there, don't get me wrong, but it just seems like they lacked a little bit of an oomph in the attacking third. They're always going to be good defensively and well organized. Uh, but that organization, when you come up against a team that is also organized and physical, uh, can be broken down. And I mean, Talking about broken, there is not a heart out there that wasn't torn apart watching Gigi Buffon give his last uh, interview as Italy's starting goalkeeper. I believe there's a video circulating where he made his appearance at the age of 19 against Russia. Uh, what a career he's had. I mean, he's got that World Cup accolade. I'm sure it still hurts to go out uh, this way and not be able to play in the World Cup next year, his last ever. It's one of the most enjoyable tournaments you just expect to see Buffon between the sticks. But... At the moment, it's just, it's a tough time for a lot of the big dominant uh, countries in world football. Holland, no World Cup for them. Italy, no World Cup for them. Chile, who many are touted to be a dark horse coming into this competition, back-to-back -back Copa America champions. Not going to go to the World Cup either. Scotland, dominant team across Europe. Just So, um, I mean, you could put together an all-non-World Cup tournament. I'd happily participate in that. Just give me a tournament. Just give me a major tournament to play in. So, um, yeah, there's many people out there who are upset. One Italy fan was posted cutting up his IKEA card. Come on, man. You're going to give up, like, $3 or £3 tables for the fact that your team went out of the World Cup? You're going to give up those meatballs? By the way, don't judge. Have you ever been to IKEA and tasted some of the Swedish meatballs? But well worth the disastrous trip that is being dragged around Ikea with your missus as she says, oh, we're just going to get a couple of light bulbs. Fucking store down the street. Why are we going to Ikea all of a sudden three days later and you're still looking for a fucking curtain or something like that? Who knows? Um, but many Italian Italy fans took to Twitter to question what they're going to do next year, what they're going to do next summer. Uh, I mean, it's going to be tough. Like, I have gotten used to it. You just have to try and find another team that you could somewhat assimilate to. This is where the Yanks come in handy because every Yank you meet, or every American I meet in the street, have either had a father's, grandfather's, parrots, dogs, uncles, Stevens, Michaels, Johnsons that once flew across Oban in Scotland. Therefore, they're like 1 19th Scottish. So therefore, they can relate to me. So therefore, I've been to a bunch of countries. You know, I've been to France. Can support France. Neighbours are England, got a lot of English mates, won't support England. So yeah, you find a team, you create some sort of mutual connection with them, false sense of fanship, fansmanship, whatever that word is, and you just think, you know what, I'm going to support them. Because that's all that's going to make this more enjoyable. Or you can do what Jason and I usually do and just bet. You immediately become a fan of a team if you bet on them. So Italians, just get your money out, get some of that money that you're usually going to spend to pay the referees in Syria, put it in the back burner, save it for Russia, and just bet on Panama. If they win, you're suddenly a Panama native. That's my advice for you. So I'm not going to get into much of the football aspect, but it's tough for any Italy fans out there uh, to face a World Cup without a staple, a team that is one of the most successful in history, uh, expected to be there, provided some of the best moments in World Cup history and 2018 unfortunately won't be one of them. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Should we form a non-World Cup qualifying tournament? The US, they could participate.
She'll be fine. Ciao.